As Rankin Cancer Run Month winds down, the source made the trek to Crossroads Public School in Virgil, where students and staff continued their long-standing tradition of supporting the run. So we're having the Rankin Cancer Run for our school and we get to run 10 laps today and raise a bunch of money for cancer research. How exactly did the students go about raising the money? Um, so you can ask your neighbors or your parents and then we bring it into the school. When you went out to get some donations, what was the response? Everybody was very generous and really wanted to contribute, yeah. In fact, our school has been involved in how many years of the Rankin Run completely? 15, 15 years. And in 2019, we actually started our first walkathon here to raise money in our own community to support the rank and run in St. Catharines, well, in Niagara rather. So, what are the reasons that today's run has been such a success? I I'm speaking from the heart. It's really hard because we're doing it because of the people we love, the people we've lost, the people we want to honor. Uh, every single person here, if you were to take a survey, has been affected by cancer whether we've had it ourselves or whether we've had family members, uh, people in our community that we've lost. It's been heartbreaking for some families and we just want to show our support. Max, grade eight here at Crossroads. Uh, tell me about your involvement. Well, um, I've been helping out with, a lot with the barbecue and setting up for the relay race for the kids. Um, it's just a great overall experience to be helping out. Feel, it makes you feel good inside, you know. Is there a, a long tradition of Crossroads supporting the Rankin Run? Actually, yes, there is. We've been doing this for quite a while now and I feel like every time it just gets better and better and better. The run meant that Olivia Rapone's two-year wait to see the t-shirt she designed was finally over. Well, it was hard. And every single day when I go home, I'm just like, oh, I want them to be worn. When will they come? What's your feelings today seeing them everywhere? Happy. Is this your new favorite shirt? Yeah, for sure. Rankin Cancer Run Coordinator Marianne Edwards was in attendance but declined an interview saying she wanted the spotlight on the school. She described the sea of white as beyond awesome. Let's uh, stop the suspense. What's the grand total? Oh, I knew you were going to ask that drum roll, please. Uh, I'll turn it over to Catherine. What's our relative total? What do we know? It Between? is um, twelve to $13,000 we're to and rising as the day goes on. We have till 3 o'clock. Um, that that's what we put out to the community to get funds to come into our school. So we're going to hand it all over to Mary Ann at the end of the day. Like what is the feeling of these kids, the sense of accomplishment? Oh, huge. Huge, yeah. You know what, um, since COVID, it's been really nice to get together as a, as a family group. Um, we're definitely a family here at this school, so um, it's wonderful. Wonderful. Why? Why do you see this as an event worthy of support? Because it touches our community. We, so many people in every cent goes to cancer care. Everybody's a volunteer. Nobody's paid for what they're doing today. In Niagara, you're watching The Source on your TV.